History hasn't been kind to the Kennedy family. From the assassinations of former U.S. President John F. Kennedy and U.S. Senator Robert F. Kennedy, to the plane crash that killed John F. Kennedy Jr. and his wife Carolyn Bassett Kennedy, this cursed American dynasty has endured its undue share of tragedy. And on Friday, April 3rd, the Kennedy family braced for more loss as Maeve Kennedy Townsend McKean, the 40-year-old granddaughter of RFK, and her 8-year-old son Gideon were presumed dead after their canoe tipped off the coast of Herring Bay, Maryland. According to her family, the public health and human rights lawyer was playing kickball with their son when one of them kicked the ball into the water. The two apparently hopped into their canoe to retrieve the ball, but as husband David McKean wrote on Facebook, his wife and son, quote, somehow got pushed by wind or tide into the open bay. While the Maryland Coast Guard ultimately transitioned from rescue to recovery, the team has since called off their search. David added, It has been more than 24 hours, and the chances they have survived are impossibly small. It is clear that Maeve and Gideon have passed away. Since this announcement, the Kennedys have received an outpouring of public love and support as friends and family members remember Maeve and Gideon. While authorities have yet to recover Maeve's body or the body of her son Gideon, her family revealed that the accident happened near the family's home outside Annapolis, where they were self-quarantined amid the coronavirus pandemic. Maeve's husband and the father of the couple's two other children, seven-year-old Gabriella and two-year-old Toby, posted details of his wife and son's disappearance on Facebook shortly after the news made headlines. We were self-quarantining in an empty house owned by Maeve's mother on the Chesapeake Bay, hoping to give our kids more space than we have at home in D.C. to run around. The cove is protected, with much calmer wind and water than in the greater Chesapeake. They got into a canoe, intending simply to retrieve the ball, and somehow got pushed by wind or tide into the open bay. About 30 minutes later, they were spotted by an onlooker from land who saw them far out from shore and called the police. After that last sighting, they were not seen again. Per David's post, the Coast Guard recovered the canoe miles away on Thursday evening after it had capsized. Although Maryland's Coast Guard searched for Maeve and Gideon along the Chesapeake Bay coast for more than 24 hours, the lead commander announced that his team suspended its efforts on Friday night. Commander Matthew Fine said, This was a difficult case, and even more difficult to make the decision to suspend the search. Our crews and partners did everything they could to find them. We've kept the family informed at every step during the search, and our thoughts are with them tonight. Kathleen Kennedy Townsend, Maeve's mother and former Maryland Lieutenant Governor, released a statement which read in part, My heart is crushed, yet we shall try to summon the grace of God and what strength we have to honor the hope, energy, and passion that Maeve and Gideon set forth into the world. My family thanks all for the outpouring of love and prayers as we grieve and try to bear this devastating loss. Maryland Governor Larry Hogan confirmed the mother and child had not yet been found, adding that he had reached out to Maeve's mother. And on behalf of the people of Maryland, I express our most heartfelt sympathies and prayers. As citizens continue to shelter in place amid COVID-19, Maeve's family came together to share their grief via social media. Massachusetts Rep. Joe Kennedy III, Maeve's cousin, posted on Twitter, we love you, Maeve. We love you, Gideon. Our family has lost two of the brightest lights. Grateful for the prayers. Hold your loved ones tight. Maeve's cousin, Kick Kennedy, wrote on Instagram, Maeve was a sister to me growing up. I cannot imagine my childhood or my adulthood without her. She will live in a special place in my heart forever, brightened by Gideon's sweet smile. But David McKean's Facebook post about the loss of his best friend and soulmate remains the most heartbreaking of all. He wrote, Being in her presence somehow allowed you to be a better version of yourself. She was the brightest light I have ever known. We wish the Kennedy family nothing but light and love during this time of unexpected tragedy.